like, like, like Dance this. Dance Revolution, except on guitar. She doesn't. She doesn't know what that is. You don't know what that is so, either. So, okay. so basically, yeah. on the screen, you have a bunch of like <laughs> a bunch of buttons that, that you see the four strings, content, and you see a bunch right of little buttons coming up, <laughs> and then you have to press the buttons and strum at the exact same moment. Okay. It's it's so it's exactly you've got like to have the seen guitar. this before. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to Band Together, a podcast from the Family Crest. I am John. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> Hello, John. Hello, John. In case you didn't know, I'm John. I play bass in the Family Crest. If this is your first time viewing, please hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get to the podcast. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that John's vibe at the top of the podcast, if you are a new viewer slash listener, is not our general vibe. Wow. Yes, but if you are a new listener, be sure to hit that subscribe button <laughs> and yes. that ring, ring and that bell for notifications if you're watching on video. Bing. Bing. Put in a bell sound, right? <laughs> yeah. Bing. Yeah, I'll put the studio right, well, the logos and stuff. <laughs> well, I guess this week uh, we're going to do... We have a bunch of listener questions uh, after the show I just did. So I say we just jump in on that. But before we do, music picks? Well, music actually, picks. before we get into music picks, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Anything new in your lives in quarantine? Um, I just been, I've been working and chilling and I work out like once a week. It's pretty cool. Every time I do it, I'm like, <laughs> every time I do it, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be my new thing. And then like one week later, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, right. It. You got to work out. Well, that's because the weeks pass like days. <laughs> so suddenly, you know, a week will pass and you're like, wait, that was like, for example, we went, we got COVID tested. We went, we did it very safely, decided to go visit my parents because we didn't want to get them sick. And uh, so we we did a, we quarantine for like two weeks because it took a while for, for our results to come in. And it's good we got tested when we did because right after that rate skyrocketed and it was impo it's been impossible for people to get tests. But uh, it was nice spending time outside. It was nice spending time like seeing other people, especially my, my parents uh, and cooking for them and stuff. But that was a week ago and it feels like it was yesterday. Oh my so. God. Think about February. I don't want to. It's, We've talked like about this before. Yeah. Ago. Yeah, but that's all you can talk about. That's all you can talk about anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's just, all that happens. <laughs> I've been PC gaming more, I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh, what are you playing? Uh, guy friends got me into Destiny 2, so I've been doing that. Well, Destiny 2. Well, I'm catching up. I, I backlog a lot. Like, I don't play games for a long time, so I'm still, like, working my way through, like, Borderlands 3 and stuff. So. I just don't game, so, like, but I, I weirdly know what all this is because of Kara and you mm -hmm. and and a few other and like Lars. But <laughs> but yeah, I've just honestly the I've been doing it's amazing how much time goes into doing the specifically the uh, the cover shows, because there's a lot of arranging and a lot of like, you know, and, and I that that kind of sucks up a lot of my time. So it is mm -hmm. totally a positive. I mean. But it's just, it's very tiring. But yeah, I've been in my back room just working on arrangements all the time now. This is very off brand for me, but I have been exercising pretty hardcore six days a week. <laughs> and I have not. Uh, I am sad to report that I'm now one of those people that goes around saying, wow, it's so weird. I feel so good now that I'm working out every day. <laughs> I know, but I'm right? trying, I'm trying not to be irritating about it. <laughs> So I'll just leave it at that. If you want to yeah. know my workouts, hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> you guys, I've asked Discord for questions for us to answer today. And there's so many and not a single one of them serious. <laughs> God, that great. sounds about right. I'm good with that. I oh, can God, use I'm some unserious stuff. Darcy's asking John if he, he wants the pizza that Liz just made. That's what's happening. Oh, <laughs> so... <laughs> She's making pizza back there. They're just keeping track of your life for you. <laughs> yeah, you <do>. <laughs> <laughs> there you're in yeah, yeah, That's there. good. It's, it's good, too. It's like it's like a weird hummus and kale pizza, which sounds like, ooh, that sounds gross, but it's actually quite delightful. I'm yeah. suspicious. <laughs> it's, it's actually really suspicious. good. You can hate it because it's not normal pizza, but like it's actually it was actually surprisingly good. I had my reservations as well, but I'll you know what? Once. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm going to flip things around, and I want to hear from the listeners. <laughs> do you consider white pizza pizza? Because I do not. I, I think have, it depends. 
I want to hear from the people. I, I think mean, it like kind white of sauce. Depends. You're talking about white sauce on pizza, right? I mean, are, yeah. Are you expecting yeah. like letters from the fans or what? <laughs> yeah. We want them I want a letter. <laughs> <laughs> no, just tweet at us or whatever. Tell us. Is white pizza like pizza? Well, okay. I have a, a hot take on this though because Laura's favorite pizza up and well, up until recently, I made a pizza that she actually liked more than this, which is crazy to me. But her favorite pizza is very basic. It's a San Marzano and mozzarella, but you put uh, mascarpone on top. And I would question if by adding the amount of mascarpone that I add to those pizzas, if it kind of turns it into a white sauce. No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> I did the at here and I You're asked not the helping. question. And now, there's like, oh, <laughs> now there's like infinity <laughs> questions. So whatever, we'll get well, to those a little uh, later. Uh, right. Do you guys want to talk about the Discord? If, if anybody <laughs> wants to join our Discord, Yeah, you got to join us. the Discord. I got familycrest.com slash fam. <laughs> yeah, you should. It's always active. There's always memes and but actually, I mean, real talk, it's a very it's a very friendly, inclusive place. And actually it's keeping a lot of people sane during quarantine. So I mean, honestly, like our our Discord our fans in general, but our Discord fans are like they're they're the a lot of them come and watch the live streams and it's just amazing to see the community that that has developed out of that, then like the mm -hmm. friendships that have been made. It kind of reminds me, you know, today's I did the live stream and it was on early 2000s indie rock, which is when I was going out and seeing a lot of shows and whatnot. And it it reminded me of the fact that back in the days when I would go see Cursive and Rilo Kylie, you would you had this kind of unit of people that you would always see at shows that you'd be kind of become friends with. And it's really interesting that, you know, God, 20 years later, don't even think about it, that people can do that everywhere. You know, back then. It wasn't, you could, I guess, but it wasn't the same kind of thing. Anyway, yeah, it's cool. Should we do a music pick? Let's do music picks. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in and just get mine over with because they're quick. Mm -hmm. I played that show today, so I'm just gonna choose a bunch of the songs that I played uh, because if okay. you haven't heard them, you should hear them. So I'll choose, I'll do three of them. I'll do uh, Cursive. Uh, I'm gonna choose a different song than I played, though. Oh. I'm gonna choose... Red-handed sleight of hand. Uh, I'm gonna do red-handed sleight of hand. I'm gonna choose uh, spoon. Everything hits at once because uh, that was the one I didn't play as well. And I want you to hear the the better version. And I'm gonna choose Elliot Smith. Everything reminds me of her because it's one of the most heartbreakingly beautiful songs ever. There you have it. Great. All right. Great. Great. I like it. Should I'll I go. do mine? We all want to go. <laughs> we all want to go. Let's just say them all at the same go. time. Um, I'll go. I'll <laughs> go. I'll start off with I'll start off with a jam that was sent to me by Liam and Laura a couple days oh, ago. Oh god damn it! That, I was gonna pick that. If that's I what I thought. That, that's why I was gonna flight? let you go first. You know what? But I'm not. I, I can't claim. Night do flight. It. Do it. It's yeah, amazing. Night light. This is oh. this is literally yeah. the world's pick right now. I think it should be. So I'm gonna. We're all claiming this one. because yeah. We all love it. I, I was gonna wait for you dope. to pick it. So I was like, no, I was you, like, do, you yeah. do it. It's Thank called you if you it. want it, and uh, it's basically like it sounds like if the Bee Gees were in the '90s, basically. And hard and harder and harder. They, I like, guess. They, yeah. They have that kind of funk. And, and it starts, and you're in the groove, and then. They go up. Yeah, it is incredible. It's great. It's really well produced. Like the the whole thing. Yeah. It's kind of ELO y. It's kind Sounds of Bee Gees y. Great. If you want to check out their band, it the band name is spelled N I T E F L Y T E. Night flight. Night flight. Night life. They were saying L, they were saying L Y F E before we were before we were making that hashtags. You know. No, it's night flight. Oh, night flight. Not did I did I say night life? Yes. I think I said nightlife, <laughs> night flight. Sorry, that's that's our tribute band to nightlife. Night life. <laughs> so night flight, if you want it, that's pick number one. <laughs> check it out. Okay. Fun fact: yeah. we discovered this song because we were listening to this podcast called Wind of Change that is about a rumor that the CIA wrote a song called Wind of Change to sort of have kind of like a psychological operation. Um, in the Soviet Union after the fall of the Berlin Wall. Uh, in the middle of this podcast, they interviewed somebody who was like loosely connected, who's a music producer, who was in this band and they played the song and they turned the song on and I stopped the podcast and went and found Night Flight, 
so that we could listen to we, the whole song. It was such song. A, jam. a jam. Certified jam from the second we heard it, honey. The second so we heard it. <laughs> sure All right, John, what's your next pick? Okay, so my next pick, my, my whole thing is going to be kind of funk inspired. Oh, doing um, the funk thing. So a second one is this band. You might, people might remember this uh, fans. If you are a pop punk fan, Hello Goodbye. But I, but I remember Hello Goodbye. Yeah, no, totally just like kind of like electronic pop punk. Literally, and like he hard made, tuned, right? Hard, Didn't yeah, hard tuned. Hard but he tune totally, the, he made, I think it's the, the main guy just by himself. Nobody, but he still goes under Hello Goodbye. And it's just, he made like a total funk record. Just total like funk. Is it dope? Yeah, okay. it's dope. So the, uh, the song I'm going to pick is called Solely Natural, like S apostrophe O-N-L-Y. Solely Natural, kind of. Kind of thing. Oh, uh, like like it's only natural. Yeah, but yeah. It's only, but see. yeah, completely different. It has nothing to do with their <laughs> their early stuff. Um, total funk. It's awesome. And my third okay. pick is a band my girlfriend bumps all the time called Turquoise. Oh Turqu- yeah, yeah. Yeah. The song's called European Festivity Nightmare. And what's awesome about this band, this That's dude, a funk song title. This dude, the the like the main, the lead singer. Well, there's several singers because there's like a there's like uh, women backup singers and blah, blah blah. But the main dude, it like sounds exactly like Phil Collins. I've never heard anyone sound like Phil Collins. So if you listen to this album, like, yeah, he sounds like Phil. It's like this could be Phil Collins except hmm. funkier. Like it's crazy. Um, we played how, how with them s- at Hardly Strictly. Or no, 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 no. Hi same, Sierra. Same. Hi Sierra. Oh, uh, we did. I didn't catch. We didn't catch. Oh, I didn't, I didn't yeah, catch they were them. the band. Remember? I no, you them. did. You oh, did. did we they watch were, them? They were very good. Oh, I watched it's them, and I. <laughs> yeah, they were the band that was in the big, uh, the like hangar, and we all went in just briefly and saw right, them. Right, they play got for, like, like yeah, they got like three horns and shit, and uh, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember them. They were gotcha. Okay, so them. So I've Is seen them before. Like, yeah, it's it's T it's T U R K U A Z. It's spelled all weird. Turquoise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's spelled all, right. all weird. But yeah, that's those are my picks. Wow. Turquoise. All right, all right Laura, you want to go? Just get it done. Um, excuse me. You don't just get, just don't get divas it done. done. <laughs> um, get it done. Get it done. So with that stipulation in place, yeah, I'm gonna get it done. I'm going to deliver. Okay, so this is a tale of two divas. One, Christina Aguilera. Two, Samantha Mumba of the UK. So, Christina Aguilera put out a song called Come On Over Baby, which is a certified jam. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Samantha Mumba, uh, who is probably, she's in my top three pop queens of the early 2000s, put out a song that was originally titled baby come on over but then they changed the title Mm. i can't even remember the title they changed it to because allegedly allegedly because they thought it was too close to christina aguilera's song title and they didn't want people to be confused and so all i'm saying is two divas two songs very different both excellent and very similar titles and those are my music picks for this week all right. They are fierce. You're welcome for injecting a little bit of pop into this week's <laughs> music picks. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, and before you go, I have a show pick that I want to drop for y'all. Oh, Hold I on. knew this was coming. I just got to do it. It's a show called Legendary. <laughs> it is a show about ballroom, which if you don't know what ballroom is, it's a... How would you explain ballroom? It's like... Ballroom is if you took... Every style of art in the history of the world and took elements of all of them and put them together and then made it the most glamorous, inclusive, familial, loving, festive experience yeah, it, it that started, is like living, breathing expression. Yeah, it's cool. It started out like it's been around for a long time. This. They made they made a, a documentary about it called Paris is Burning, um, and and when it was when they made the documentary, essentially it was like ballroom was the place that people within the LGBT community could go to this thing and be anything they wanted to be and feel completely open and uh, and have their community. And so they released this show, which is basically they they have these groups that are essentially like like 
gangs, but not they're violent gangs. They're called houses, and they're like family units, yeah, basically. Yeah. And so, what I, the reason I bring this up is a it's a, it's the type of show where you'll watch it, and you know when you watch like show, like it's a show that I feel like would have existed in the world of the Fifth Element, where you watch okay. it and you're like, this I feel like I'm watching like a crazy like game show in the future almost like the the the, the hunger games like the guy who's ah, ah does the, what, uh, whatever his name is like it's just way out there but it's also you know once you start getting into it you just see how much like skill and art and also like how how uh, how much love is in in the community between like all the people that are competing it's you know like you watch something like top chef and everybody at the end eventually like loves each other but this is like next level where like part of ballroom is throwing shade but it's totally kind of fake shade where it's like on stage you throw it and then you get off stage and everyone's like i haven't seen any competition where people literally will get off stage and be like yeah i lost but like i'm so happy for them and you can tell they mean it so watch it it's really entertaining and it's worth looking into because it, it taught me a whole lot about a part of American culture that I just, world culture that I just didn't know about. So watch it. Looks it's good. cool. I've it's just been HBO watching The Floor is Lava, Max. so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should watch, you should watch this. You should watch Legendary. Basically, Liam's life is now ruined because I am pose, com- pose, totally pose. obsessed and am like, learning everything about it and i'm like trying to learn how to vogue <laughs> and i'm i'm like so beyond in love with I'm it i'm telling you right now if you show liz she's going no liz knows all about this. oh liz already knows Jesus. of course she does of course she does hey, hey babe do we have hbo max <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to get you stupid anyway try to get you a login <laughs> <laughs> all right Owen. i would actually say that this show is worth getting an hbo max subscription to be able to watch it's really interesting i mean it's super interesting anyway Owen, what are your picks uh i only have one i'm going british neo funk i'm going oh, casio funk by casio by jungle casio oh, by love jungle. jungle gotta love, love jungle, jungle. I love that song, and if you haven't seen the video, watch it. It's just really hot people dancing really well. Okay. <laughs> really hot I mean, who too. doesn't? Literally, who doesn't want to watch that? So just fun watch. fact: that's basically legendary. <laughs> yeah, too. that's basically legendary. <laughs> I, I know. If I had HBO Max, I'd watch it. <laughs> well, uh, fan questions. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, I'll John, start you with, know what they are. I got so some, you can I got, ask them. I got some what, ones. George? I got some ones from the the stream that are not uh, trolls. So <laughs> I don't necessarily think they're trolls. No, no. But uh, this I like this one. I like this one. This is Jordan okay, right. Jordan Lagana, of course. Huge of fan. Of course, Jordan. Love you, Jordan. Um, it says if you can get one TFC song featured in rock band circa 2008, which song would you choose for Max? 2008. Jonas? I love how like that's so specific. Yeah, 2008. Specifically okay, but 2008. Can I yeah. Can I be that person who never played video games and ask what this is? Rock Band oh, is a uh, game. You know Guitar you Hero? Rock Band no, was like full band. Guitar okay, you, so basically, you have a guitar, Basically, you have a controller. Uh, yeah. Controller. So like instead of strings. So has, a big controller. No, it's like this big. It's a guitar and okay. it has buttons on it. There's okay. like four buttons. Okay. And then you it's, pick. It's like, like Dance this. Dance Revolution except on guitar. She doesn't, she doesn't know what that is. You either. don't know what that is so, either? So, okay. so basically on the screen, you have a bunch of like <laughs> a bunch of buttons that, that you see the four strings content, and you see a bunch right of little buttons coming up. <laughs> and then you have to press the buttons and strum at the exact same moment. Okay. It's, it's. So it's exactly like the guitar. I've seen this before. Come on. <laughs> It's it's weirdly I I hate admitting it but like there was I went to Sweden to visit one of my best friends for Christmas once and it was like the height of of Guitar Hero and I was very against like oh my god just learn to play and then I'm like wait this isn't playing guitar this is a video game and it's actually kind of fun if you have a, a group of people that you're playing with uh, but 2008 that's probably about when I was doing it what is like the most I see people who are so good at that game I'm like why don't you just learn guitar I don't know I know. Well, they have a uh, they have a, a a game called like Rocksmith, which is actually the same thing except you're playing actual guitar. I, I, I know what yeah. song I would choose. What song what would, would you, you choose, choose then? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a, a, a new song that y'all haven't heard yet unless you saw us live. Uh, so you'll have to wait, but it's a song called "You Are the Beginning," and I would use the cello slash double bass line. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's what they would have to play. I think that's solid. What types of songs I mean, were on this video game? We're all on mean, guitar. Oh, all sorts. Yeah, but mainly, like mostly mainly like rock songs. You know, it's the like, darkness. Yeah, oh, like, I, believe I believe in a believe thing, thing called, called love, love was totally in. Dra rock oh, band, what was that one song? Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Forest. Forest. Oh, like, Dragon that was Forest. like the expert like That's song the, to do. Like hard, do, like do, 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 that's actually exactly what it sounds like. That's Herman Lee streaming on Twitch all the time, so check him out. Yeah. They got to make money too. I think I just picked, I think I just picked Brian. I mean, Brian's kind of yeah. metal, and there's a lot of moving lines and stuff like that. Yeah, true. true. You take the flute or violin line. We're always doing stuff. So okay, so if I'm if it's metal leaning or like it doesn't, rock ha it doesn't have to. Yeah, it's like I guess it's rock leaning typically in the in the game, but but it's you know. it's all about like something that's rock leaning and something that is hard to play like a lot of like singular da, 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 like no. so you can okay. hit the hit the you know or like okay. if you're playing rock band there's a drum set too so you'd be like do, 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 you know boat, boo, boo, boo. maybe uh, for well, both yeah boat, for rock boring, band it would though, be the guitars, rock band drums like, wouldn't even register all those tom hits it doesn't really <laughs> have to be the guitar it doesn't have to be the guitar part necessarily you know yeah it's like the melody. there's yeah and there's drums too on rock band do you have uh like you know okay yeah the drum part um, for boat is just I think then I would choose, I don't know, Mirror Love? Would that be weird? That's just... But so is Boat. No, but it can be... Well, no, but we're saying Boat for drums would be hard because they have a little drum pad. You can turn it into... You can turn another line of the song into the into the guitar Piro part, like, whatever, you know? I mean, I guess... It could be like... Can't you imagine that under the under control? Do, yeah, do, 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 wouldn't do, that be do, hard? Do, 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 do. It's a good rhythm thing right. for for the guitar I mean, controller. But boop, 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 really, boop, I just boop, can't boop, remember boop, any of our boop, songs. Boop, boop, so <laughs> <laughs> we've been in quarantine for six years now. So who's the family? Crush? I'm literally looking up our band on on Spotify right now to see what our songs are, so I, I can think, choose. I, a song. I think I am the winter would be the ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> do 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 do. Yeah. All right, John. Okay. Oh, like, what would I choose? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I guess Base I do. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go with like Take Tonight do, or something. Do the water oh, no. dude. Oh, yeah. I know. I was That's right. Say, That's right. Rock Band. Play that shit in five. Sonically, though. on Rock Band. Yeah, you should have to go. That's all I would be on the thing. Never gonna stop would sonically fit with that era though. Sure. If you listen to those songs, it would actually make sense All right. on that record. It has never kind of a metric. Never feel. gonna stop Final Answer Regis. Thank you. All right, we did it. Let's move on. <laughs> we did. Good it. job. We did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I don't. I'm not gonna move to the Discord yet because this is just. This is a lot. I can't uh, keep up with this. I, I got a bunch of stuff okay. in the Discord. Okay, well, They're mostly jokes. Yeah, yeah. We'll I'll, have to do a rapid, rapid exactly. fire. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Rapid fire on that. So the next one, uh, Austin Brown asks. Austin. He, he says, this one's for me, so I'll do it quick. He says, John, I got to ask the mustache, how does it get so perfect in every picture? And he followed up with saying, I don't want to hear an excuse like it just is that way. But it kind of is. Just but it kind of is. I don't. I don't do conditioner or any shit. I tried to, and it like I tried to do like the beard wax or the mustache wax crap and it was horrible i looked awful uh, <laughs> so it literally is like i kind of just trim it down here every once in a while and then like i trim the ends of it and that's that's like literally it so yeah i i don't know is it perfect i didn't know that thank you thank you because i because you know, <laughs> i don't know John, if it you're perfect. Is, you're, you're perfect thank you appreciate it uh, <laughs> John, you're so beautiful. John. I'm sorry, you're I don't so have like beautiful. a better answer, like a conditioning routine and stuff. Like, yeah, sometimes in the shower I put conditioner in it because you got to clean it he out. He uses you know? he uses a he uses horse wax. Horse wax. But I did <laughs> I did have like beard wax and all this shit because I thought I was like I had to I have to you know maintain this and then I realized that less was more and like oh just trim it every once in a while and then wash wash yourself obviously. And I'm kind of offended. Your body. I'm, and I'm kind of offended good. that he's like not commenting on my luscious. I can't see. I can't see because we're using, you know, we're using. No, I don't. It's too low res on our on our well, little hangout call here that we're using. He's joking because he can't, can't grow, grow facial I, I'm hair. Not, I can't grow facial. I just oh, can't do it. 
John, you could have trolled and like just been like, what I do is I rub fish emulsion in it. I and, like, should like, have. I <laughs> should have. Something, to do something like I so gross. Yeah, I know. I could have rolled cow, for a while. Actually, cow manure. Sounds weird. But sounds weird, but you wash it out. Don't worry. You wash it it's out. Kind of okay, horrible. get in there. <laughs> what I like to do, I have to close my mouth like this so I don't get it into my mouth, right? So I go, mm, yeah. Like but it's good for your lips though too. <laughs> no, that's a myth. Yeah, like that's a myth. That's just <laughs> <laughs> This really took a turn. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, What's let's, next? Let's move on. So uh, Austin also asks, he uh, he said, oh, but real question. He's like, I would laugh. Well, he didn't give, I, I guess it's not a question. He's like, I would at, like to ask Liam random cooking tips. Like I would have never thought of Owen's bread probing tip with the oven and the boiling water. I love that shit. That's we didn't smart. ask a specific question, so that's more of a compliment. So thank you. If you do have an actual cooking question for Liam, or Austin, Owen, then Austin, Austin, and I sometimes sometimes chit chat back and forth on Instagram. So I'll send him some tips. There you go. All right, then yes, he'll send, send um, some tips. Can I give a cooking tip? Yeah, R- right now in yeah. this you moment, may. no one asked, but we're going to do it. I, it's an unsolicited cooking tip. <laughs> um, clean while you cook. That's true. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Yes, Liam McCormick is an amazing yes. cook. It's important but, to do that. But shit his, gets everywhere. His cooking <laughs> leaves our kitchen wanting a full blown Make scrub. Yeah. It is a little it, messy. It, it's weird too, because like in so many other areas, I'm so meticulous. But with cooking, I I get like into it, and then I I just like lose stuff and and use too many bowls and. It's like a hurricane hit. It's a hurricane complete McCormick. disaster. Hurricane Lily. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's next? Uh, Owen, go. You got some stuff marked down. Go for it. Oh, I didn't know it was like my turn so quickly. All right. <laughs> uh, two of them I asked, I answered already because they were very. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah I know. My, there's some of them that's like, I, my girlfriend asked, what do I want on my side with the pizza <laughs> she's cooking right now? So, <laughs> so uh, broccoli, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, actually, Austin and Discord changed his name to what does John want with his pizza? So. Um, <laughs> Uh, Curio says, if you could make any instrument five times as loud, which one? Although any instrument? Piccolo. I wish the piccolo was five <laughs> times louder than it is now. For real, though, Four double bass. Pipes, close second. For real, though, I'm double gonna, bass, because you need like six of them to hear it. I'm one-upping I'm one John. One. I'm going to say the octobass. <sighs> Just imagine the sound of that over the hills. Oh. The Octobase, there's a video on YouTube of uh, Davey504, the YouTube bassist. He went and played one. A raw, oh, along, really? I yeah. got to watch that. Yeah, that dude's along with Rob Scallion. They're all big. Can I answer? Guitar guy, but. Can I ask a question about that question? Yeah. Could, if, <laughs> okay, hypo- hypothetically in this hypothetical question, if you can make the instrument, what was it, five times louder? Yeah. Can can we also say that the instrument could also be five times quieter? Because you have you, one you that you want that. five times quieter. What do you want five well, times quieter? Well, I was thinking, I was thinking a lot of things like the human voice, <laughs> <laughs> a flute. Because a flute, if you can make it really loud in the lower register, it's like very beautiful. But unfortunately, that's very difficult to do. But then, if it's five times louder in the high register, that's terrible. So if you could balance it out that way. <laughs> That's what I would want to do. <laughs> you know what I wish existed? And I'm, so if you know if this exists, let me know. Uh, I wish there was a louder, like a, a a concert bass drum that was five times louder. I wish there was something that was like. Have you been next to a bass drum when yeah, it's hit? Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, but I would like in an orchestra setting. I hope no percussionists are listening to this in an right orchestra, now. You're uh, fine. In an orchestra <laughs> setting, I would love to have the, like the, or like, yeah. I'd love to have the ability to like, because I've seen, you know, pieces where, you know, OK, here it comes. Here's the big hit. And I'm like, yeah, that's, it's that's big. It's big. It's finesse. But I want something bigger. I this want guy. more. I want more oomph. I you know, want I want something more. that hurts. I'll say as an orchestral musician, if classical guitars and harps were louder, that would make our lives right, easier. Because totally. whenever they play, Ooh, everyone the has to be like whisper silent. Yeah. Yeah. Guitar yeah. concertos are like so painful to play as like a sexual violinist everyone's literally like you're using like an eighth of an inch of your bow like (laughs) Uh, george george simon in the discord asks do you want a hibiscus margarita i don't know if that's at me i hope it is i mean i would love one i would think i think it would be for you so yeah i would say yes i'm gonna answer for owen yes 
get him an, uh, Craig a hard biscuit. Craig said, margarita. if the train departs at 2 p.m. and arrives at 4 p.m., how long were the passengers on the train for? I'm. Well, that kind of depends. <laughs> that kind of depends on when they got there. I want real <laughs> questions. <laughs> Uh, Liz says, Owen, can you ask John if he wants the pizza now or after you've done it? <laughs> I already addressed this. I, <laughs> I'm going to have the pizza later. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Wait, yeah. A bunch of things that are gibberish, like what is real and yeah. why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a good uh, question. When, uh, when, when is this is a good one. When is the At War Act 2 going to be ported to the GameCube? <laughs> I don't even Let's know just what change that, means. that. Let's just change it to when is the War Act Two going to come out? Oh, George well, ha, is George is here now and has a hibiscus margarita. Hi George. Hi George. Can I try? Wait. Do you require yeah. one? Yeah. You want to say hey? George, say hi. Say hi. Hi Georgie. Hey. 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 Your George hair looks there really go. good. That answers. He, he that answers. A, he a, can't. A, Owen, can you tell George that his hair looks great. so good? I'm loving the pink. Laura says she loves it. Uh, is that what I said? <laughs> that's going to answer a question that said, would there ever be guest stars to your cool podcast? There you go. George uh, Musa Saman. We've done it in the past, but yeah, we just had that one. <laughs> next when week we family... have next week you have Paul McCartney on it. <laughs> Paul McCartney. I'm really excited yeah. about. I mean, he he was he called and begged and I was like, he wanted to get on the first one and I was like, dude, it's the first one. Of the, we've never done it before. <laughs> you really want to suck up all the attention? And he's like, yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah, okay. So... Curio so wants to know one. when the family crest will cover the Spider-Man 2, the Spider-Man PlayStation 2 pizza theme. Does anyone know what I that is? I don't even know what that is. I think it's made da, up. Da, da, da. Pizza man. Gonna get some pizza man. Do you have pizza man? Yes, I got that pizza man uh, because I am the pizza man. Boom. Just covered. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy wants to know who can draw best. Oh, no. Not, Not me. Oh. I think Liam. Maybe, yeah. Well, That's you, sad. Well, because you got your nice, uh, you got maybe, your little maybe. doodles. You got your little doodles. I can't do shit. I do like Zen Doodle and shit. Like maybe, but I'm not. I'm so not. I went I to mean, a Waldorf school. My girlfriend school. is the actual answer, but she's not here. So I went to a Waldorf school, so I was kind of raised doing like abstract art, <laughs> bizarrely. So I can do a little bit of that. Yeah, but like I can make art, but I can't draw well. I wish I could. It make it make I mean, a lot I of things. Liam I doodles. For, I took art for years and I'm horrible. So, <laughs> yes, you should start with your penmanship, Owen, and then upgrade to it's drawing. Hopeless. It's <laughs> hopeless. I've tried. I'm too old to change. Uh, Lewis says, "When do we get an all horn version of Beneath the Brine?" <laughs> um, that sounds awesome, Lewis. And I think that we actually, should start working on that right away. Of the song Beneath the Brine or the full album? I think. I hope the song. <laughs> I was just thinking the song too. Be clear. <laughs> I mean, there's. I, I guess I can add that to the list. There's two Wait. things that I want to happen to beneath the brine. One is now a horn or a horn arrangement. If I write it, if we have enough horn players that want to play, can it, I guess the second? Uh huh. He wants Patrick Stewart, Sir Patrick Stewart, to recite the lyrics of Beneath the Brine. I would. I would literally get him a. I'll give him a nice glass of scotch. Put him in a chair. Let him just read it. Oh, young love of mine. I want everyone to know that I went on the devil's website, Cameo, to see. I don't know why <laughs> I thought that this was. might happen. No, I, I was like, Patrick Stewart's not on Cameo, but I'm still going to check. Yeah. And I went on Cameo and I typed in Patrick Stewart and a bunch of random people who I've never heard of popped up on Cameo for like $25. I could pay them to read Beneath the Brine. So I was like, should I do this? That no. would be hilarious. <laughs> You're like, I just made your dreams come true. And it's it's Patrick Stewart from it's Buckingham, like, No, New it's Jersey. like Francesca from Too Hot to Handle reading <laughs> Beneath the Brine. <laughs> uh, uh, we got another one. Okay. If, if your name had to start with the next letter of the alphabet after your first initial... Uh huh. So P for me. What would you change your name to? Mine would be Miles. Miles. I guess, okay. Miles. I guess mine would be. I would just do my middle name, which is Morel. Yeah, Morel's a beautiful name. Morel. Ah, uh, P. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe can I go with Peter? But the the uh, Russian spelling, like Tchaikovsky, like Pyotr. Pyotr. <laughs> okay. Sure. Pyotr. K. So I don't know. I guess it'd be Kevin. <laughs> I mean, Kevin. 
<laughs> you can be Kodak. <laughs> Kodak. <laughs> Should uh, we name John K names? <laughs> Kendall. Kendall. Kodak. Kenneth. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm pretty plain, so, so Ken. Maybe Ken. 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 You look like a Ken. Ken? Ken's a good name. Yeah. Kent. Oh, Ken's Kent. Ken's okay. I like the name Kent. Kent. Okay. Mm. That was crazy. Okay. I actually now have a hibiscus margarita. <laughs> like yeah. In real time, I answered a Discord question. Ago, right? Dude, this is this this podcast is turning into something <laughs> magical. This shit's getting, this getting powerful. <laughs> uh, Tad says, if you had to call your significant other by a song name for a year, what song do you pick? Oh, oh, I know this. I know this. I know this right no, away. No, don't do it. <laughs> okay. No, don't do There's it. There's a backstory. So I <laughs> make up weird things and I sing them at Liam. <laughs> and the one that I came up with is a couple of mornings ago, I started singing him Bootylicious by Destiny's Child. <laughs> <laughs> but then oh, so but I already, changed it. And this, I isn't changed, even, this isn't even hypothetical for you. <laughs> no, I changed it to Bootylicious because his nickname is Lily. <laughs> Somehow my mouth welcome. tastes weird now. How did that happen? <laughs> uh, oh, shoot. Uh, a song title for Caitlin. Hashtag, mm. hashtag Bootylicious. <laughs> Lower third, John, make a note. <laughs> I know what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I would call Laura, Willst du ein Banana? Willst du ein Banana? Banana. La 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 li. I've been, um, I'm trying to think of a good one. Yeah, no, I feel like I should have a good one too, but I, I, I really don't at this hmm. moment. Um, Maybe we got to come back. Maybe I got to stew on that for a week and come back. Yeah. That's I feel a, like there are so many good options, but you guys do you. Do you have suggestions? Laura? I can think of so um, many things, but I don't know. Like, hammer. hammer. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I hammer wouldn't, time. I, <laughs> my ideas are worth something, guys. I'd have to invoice you afterwards. <laughs> okay. You can invoice me, but you're not getting anything back. <laughs> So I have a question. Uh, Owen, what is the cocktail that you have consumed the most in the last month of quarantine? Like that you've been, it's been like, have you had a frequent? uh, No, not really cocktails. Um, I just been drinking cheap white wine, to be honest. Like it doesn't, if you drink too much beer, you know, you get fat and bloated. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah. And I like, gave up that a while I'm ago. not really like buying a bunch of hard liquor and stuff. So like, I just kind of, you know, I have this. Hold on. This is two ninety nine at Safeway. I'm Sick. not even kidding. It's and ah, uh, George says it's three seventeen now. Oh, oh sorry, yeah. Yeah. never mind. I don't. This sucks. no, but actually, for the price, it's bizarre. Like, it's like less than Barefoot and Gallo and those things, and it's like it's pretty good. Huh. I don't know. It's surprising. I, I only do cocktails on the weekends, but I've been drinking this thing called a Boulevardier. Oh, nice. It's, Classic. It's like, well, I, I, na- I finally, after like, you know, a few tries, was able to nail the uh, the uh, uh, Sazerac. I, I like, I like deep dove, I guess what else are you going to do? I like deep dove into like the best way to, to make it, but not, you know, like obviously you don't want to shake it, but actually the best way it seems to do it is to not stir it either if you have two shakers and you do a transfer with both having ice in them you get the same effect as stirring but you get it anyway it, it's great but the boulevard yeah it's been mine it's good if you it's, like campari if, if you like it's like awesome yeah. um, the cocktails. i mean i feel like it just makes me want a negroni because like I just don't like. I just I like the gin. same. They're the same drink, just different. Alcohol, yeah, I just don't but... like gin that much. Yeah, see, I do. I don't know. I always <laughs> like gin. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the cocktails. Cool. That's classy. The cocktails I've been making are um, inventions that change every time I make them, so I can't actually specify what they are, and they don't have names. But they usually involve some type of fresh citrus, gin, or tequila. Some type of like bitter ish citrusy. I don't know what Campari is, a aperitif or something. What is that? Is that what it it's is? Digestif, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, Digestivo. Um, so like, it's a liqueur. It doesn't matter what it is. And then I'll make some sort of simple syrup 
um, that I will infuse with a some some sort of herb to give it a little bit of like unctuousness. How's that for a culinary word? That's good. It doesn't even I don't know say. If I used it doesn't it properly. say what it is. You know I what? love Campari though. My mom drinks Campari and orange juice. So Italian. That's I don't. I don't have any. In, I don't have any in the house <laughs> just because I don't want to spend like thirty dollars on a bottle of it. But I really miss Fernet. Ours is gone. Oh, Fernet. That's dangerous. <laughs> uh, well, I just like Fernet, but it's weird because every cocktail I've had of Fernet is always. And I like Fernet by itself, too. I mean, I had some really amazing Fernet on our honeymoon in Florence that was taken off of, like, from a monk's a mo- yeah, it a was monastery, monastery that you had to walk to to get. and made that sounds a, awesome. It was amazing. But for, weirdly enough, Fernet pairs extremely well with pineapple juice, which I would never assume. But it actually works extremely well. Not, you don't want to dump it in there. But uh, I, I'd love to do some Fernet experimentation, but I just don't want to do it. Um, our first drummer, Pat, may he rest in peace, um, spent an entire night, the first night I ever met him, in the studio convincing me that Fernet was a delicious liqueur that tasted like chocolate. (laughs) And he said at the end of the night, we're going to drink a little bit. And I was like, great, can't wait. And he was like, it's medicinal. And I kind of had a cold at the time. So he's like, it's medicinal. It'll be good. So I'm like, great. So the end of the night arrives and he pours it. And of course, I'm like a little stuffed up. So I couldn't smell smell it. it. And I drank the whole thing. (laughs) And I, it was like, I was like, it was horrible. It was the worst. It's an acquired taste. But. It's it's a but I, I loved him. I loved him after that. I was like, okay, you're on I mean, the level. I, I love for, this is hilarious. I, I actually like weirdly enough, as I've gotten older, I tend to like lean towards bitter things. So I'm probably the only person that I know. Well, no, I know one other person to my knowledge that likes this. But I actively like Malort, which is if you don't know what Malort is, we've talked about it a few times. Chicago's on the podcast. finest. Chicago's finest liquor. And it's actually <laughs> A Swedish word, which is malot, I guess is how you pronounce malot. it. Malot. Malot. Which is, which is wormswood. <laughs> you shouldn't drink too much malort because it's not good for you. But <clears throat> it is an acquired taste. It's very bitter. But I, f- I had a theory that Andy Weber and I had, which was if you use it in a drink that you're trying to pull a pith flavor out of, then it can work and heighten it instead of like a vodka. So a Greyhound with malort is way better because it brings out the bitterness of the the grapefruit and kind of gives it that kind of grapefruit pith like slight edge where you know it, it's really good i actually really and i like malort by itself all right what is the sexiest instrument the cello obviously mm, yeah. yeah i mean maybe yeah that might be it are yeah, you kidding i'll go me? with cello yeah just the, even the positioning of it it's yeah the positioning is sexual for sure <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything more sexual than the cello. I mean, obviously, like Herbie Mann. Well, Herbie Mann is just. (laughs) Oh man, that's a whole. That's a whole. mm. Uh, You know, I think I think I think a saxophone can be sexy. Yeah. All right. Well, with that, I think we should wrap because we've been doing this for a while, and we will be back in a few weeks. don't forget every Thursday at 5:30 unless Pacific other, time unless posted Pacific time and every Saturday at 4 p.m. Pacific time I do a live stream uh, on Facebook so, and John John does a lot of the moderation in there which is always a good time so join in check it out um, also um, check out the most popular podcast bonus episode slash segment of all time, Unrefined Palettes, which is back. Which is in back. Your feeds. That's Unrefined right. Unrefined Palettes, Bi Coastal Edition. John, Laura, we taste wine and we talk about it. It's amazing. And we don't know yeah, shit. You know what? <laughs> if, if, you, if, you have, if you have a wine that is good or, or bad, bad, yeah. We, we Seriously, message us. We'll send you a shipping address and you can let us know what to get. And also, um, we don't really need to hear your judgment on the wine. Just send us the wine and then find out if we agree with you or not.
<laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> Sounds good. Let, let us also, please let us know, you know, let me know a, a lot of these, these things, especially the family crush shows. I've gone through the catalog twice now and I've gotten into playing songs in different styles and whatnot, but let me know what you want to hear. If you're going to tune in so that I know what to play. I want you, I want you to play baby come on over by Samantha Mumba. It might be happening. I might do a divas. I should do a divas show. Yeah. Just all diva. Sure. Who would, who would it be? I mean, Mariah, Beyonce, Whitney, Whitney, uh, Aretha. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, Aretha. I mean, do you really, do you want to play Aretha? I wouldn't want to play Aretha. It's up to I, you. I, I would be. It, yeah, I could do it. I, could I, I couldn't do it. I could. I couldn't do it well. I could well, do it as well as Aretha, but I. We'll I, find out. <laughs> now I'm gonna. Now I'm just gonna find totally out next time. <laughs> yeah, or something. Can Liam? <laughs> can Liam get it done? Yeah. All right. Getting it done. Right. Rate and subscribe both now on. Yeah, subscribe YouTube. and rate on the YouTubes. Subscribe, hit and the notification the bell. You know, and then if you're on iTunes or Spotify, rate that way. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all the things you know all right and let us know if there's anything you want us to talk about and we will jump into it for you awesome all right y'all right. be safe love you, guys. we love you we'll see you next time bye